Welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance, and today I'm doing one of my favorite videos of the month, new releases. What's coming out in December? This is part one, so it's all the traditionally published cozies. <sighs> Let me know which cozies that you're most excited about, if any of these are your favorite series, anything else that you want to talk about to have cozies. I love hearing from you. Put it down in the comments below on your way down to comment. If you have not subscribed, stop and hit the subscription and the notification bell. Notification bell is going to tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week so you don't miss anything. And the subscription keeps my channel growing, which has been amazing and so much fun and I can't thank you enough. All right, we're getting right into it. Traditionally published Cozy Mysteries, December 2022. In three, two, one, go! All right, first, real quick announcements. Monday, the Readings Prince will be on Storm's channel. That's Storm Reads. She's amazing. Go check her out. Go subscribe. It will be at 7 p.m. Eastern. On Thursday is the kickoff. So there'll be a live kickoff for our Cozy Advent Calendar. If you haven't heard about the Cozy Advent Calendar, I'm so excited for it. I just thought, wouldn't it be fun if every day leading up to December, kind of like when you had an Advent Calendar, if you had a kid, if you had a Cozy video. So I've asked a ton of different channels to participate anything that they want to make a video on for that's cozy and holiday related so you might have decorating you might have baking you might have traditions you might be talking about uh books anything like that i'm so excited to hear about how everybody spends their holiday and oh, it's just gonna be so exciting. So Thursday, again, live kickoff 7 p.m. I'm gonna have some of the people that are participating on and we're gonna give you the schedule. And then as you're watching each video every day, it will tell you where the next person's, who's the next channel the next day for their video. Oh, I think it's gonna be so much fun. It leads up to the 24th. There won't be a 25th, but it leads up to the 24th, which um, I'm hosting all day reading sprints. So, you know, I've said this multiple times with my, you know, my husband's still out of town. So I have a lot of time just by myself. And I thought, you know, the holidays can get pretty lonely. So why not do something that, you know, gives us something to do? If, if you are free, come hang out, chat, read with us. It's a lot of fun. All right. So I think those are the announcements. Oh, Saturday, Killing Time with Cozies here at 4 p.m. Eastern. It is a scavenger hunt. There's normally a break in between because we just did a scavenger hunt, but because of the December and the, because of December and all the holidays, we are doing it this Saturday. It is one of my favorite cozy mystery themes: farm or fruit orchard cozy mysteries. Oh. It doesn't have to be a cozy mystery. Let me stress that. We are a cozy mystery group. So, you know, you, you hear that a lot, but we welcome everybody, mostly. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Please come join us. We laugh, we chat, we read. It's a blast. Okay, now let's hop into these books. The first one is a series that I absolutely love. <sighs> and I just renewed my subscription to Audible so I can get back to it and get caught up. And I'm so excited. It is the Bake Shop series. Book number 16 is coming out. Muffin But Truth. Excellent title. Job well done. This is by Ellie Alexander. It features our main character, Ju main character Jules. She is um she runs her uh, family's bake shop named Tort. This takes place in Ashland, Oregon, which is a real town and home of the Shakespeare Festival. This series is so much fun. Gets better and better over time. I absolutely love it. Can't wait to get caught up on it. That was the reason that that tipped me over to get Audible again. <laughs> Next up is book number six in a series called City of Fortune. It's part of the Counterfeit Lady series by Victoria Thompson. It says our main character is Elizabeth Miles, who's a con woman turned lady. I know it's a historical cozy. Sounds kind of fun. A con woman? I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm interested. If anybody's read this, uh, let me know. Next up, we have a coffee cozy. I'm always up for a coffee cozy. Oh, oh, I have to show you. Some people might have seen it, but look at this cup I just got. Let's get cozy. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. My mother-in-law got this for me. Oh, I love her and I love this cup. Thank you, thank you. Okay, sorry, back to it. The next one is a coffee <laughs> cozy mystery, French Roast. It is book 15, 15 in the Maggie Thorson 
mystery series. This is by Sandra Balzo. It says our main character, Maggie, is a coffee shop owner. And this takes place in Wisconsin, which if you're still doing the cozy mystery road trip challenge and you're trying to figure, finish up, this might be a good one. I don't know of too many Wisconsin cozies, so you know, there you go. Next up, we have another book, six, Death by Arts and Crafts. This is by Alexis Morgan, and it's part of the Abby McCree Cozy Mystery Series. Our main character is Abby McCree. It says she's a recent divorcee inheriting a rundown estate. I've actually read a couple of these. I think I've read books one through three, maybe. I want to get back to it. Um, I think that I was having trouble finding some of them, so I need to look into that. Next up is a very beloved series, hence why it's in the book number 33. Incredible. Devil's Delight. It's part of the Agatha Raisin series by M.C. Beaton. This is, I think the author, M.C. Beaton, has actually passed away. Don't want to start any rumors here. <laughs> uh, maybe I should look that up. Okay, yes. The main, uh, or sorry, M.C. Beaton has passed away. So anyways, her their ghostwriter is continuing this series. This is a series that, I'm trying to get back to my notes. There we go. This is a series that... I've kind of been going back and forth on. It's been on my TBR forever. I have not tried it. The main character, Agatha Raisin, she's an ag advertising exec. She's retired. This takes place in England. But I get she's um, a character that that I guess maybe isn't the most likable. And so I've, ha I've been hesitant. Let me know what y'all think. Next up is the series I really enjoy. Book number seven is coming out, Death in the Margins. This is part of the Blue Ridge Library series by Victoria Gilbert. Our main character is Amy Weber. She's a former university librarian who's now managing a public library in Virginia. It's a really fun series. Next up, we have book number three called Knits, Knots, and Knives. <laughs> this is part of the Craft Fair Knitters Cozy Mystery Series by Mary Ellen Hughes. It says our main character is Leah, who's a knitting enthusiast. I'm always up for a knitting cozy mystery. Next up is an author who I absolutely love, so I definitely will be trying this series. I haven't gotten to it yet. Book number two is coming out. It's called Frozen Detective. This is by Amanda Flower, and it's part of the Piper and Porter Cozy Mystery Series. It says our main characters are Darby Piper, who's a private eye, and Tate Porter, who's a veteran and world traveler. World traveler is where you're really sucking me right in. <laughs> and it's Amanda Flower, who I absolutely love and will definitely probably check out. We have a new series alert. Okay. It is, the series is called the New Orleans Cozy Mystery Series. Fun. The first book is called A Streetcar Named Murder. <laughs> this is by TJ Heron. It says blackmail and the big easy turns to cold-blooded murder in this debut cozy. I don't know anything else about it, but it went on my TBR. <laughs> I like cozies that take place in New Orleans. Next up is a series I really want to get back to. I've read, I think, the first two. Number eight is coming out. Jeez. Book clubbed to death. Book clubbed to death. I think that's hilarious. This is by V.M. Burns as part of the Mystery Bookshop series. This series is set in Michigan. It features bookstore owner Samantha Washington. After Samantha Washington's husband dies, she decides to quit her job as an English teacher and follow through with her dream of opening a mystery bookstore. And in the first book, she's also writing a cozy mystery. So you're actually having chapters devoted to you're reading the story that she's writing within the story, which was really interesting. Sometimes a little bit confusing. Maybe that was just me, <laughs> but really fun. Is a series I'm so excited about, y'all. Again, I absolutely love this series. It's book four coming out, Honeymoons Can Be Hazardous, by Amanda Flower, part of the Amish Matchmaking series. If y'all are new, the Amish Candy Shop series, which was the original Amish Matchmaker that I'm speaking about, is a spinoff of that series, takes place in the same town, has some characters that weave in and out, but the Amish Candy Shop series is one of my absolute favorite series of all time. This one is so good. Like I said, it's the spinoff. So our main character, Millie, she is a widow Amish woman and she becomes the matchmaker for young couples in Harvest, Ohio, which is where the Amish candy shop takes place. Super, super fun. There is a sidekick character, Lois, Lu Louise, Lois, Lois. I don't have it written down, but she is hysterical. She's such a fun character. 
I absolutely love this series. Can't wait to check this one out. And I have it on NetGalley, so it'll be soon. Next up, we have book number four. It's called Rum and Choke. <laughs> this is part of the Sea Glass Saloon Cozy Mystery Series by Sherry Harris. Oh my gosh, that title chuckled me. Whew. This is set in Florida. It says, with Chicago winters in the rearview mirror. <laughs> Sorry, Rum and Choke just really got me. Whew. Um... With Chicago winters in the rearview mirror, Chloe Jackson is making good on a promise. Help her late friend's grandmother run the Sea Glass Saloon in, Flor in the Florida Panhandle. To Chloe's surprise, feisty Vivi isn't the frail retiree Chloe expects. So I've actually read the first one, and I thought one of the characters was really mean, so I haven't got back to it, but I probably will try it because I've heard that um, this series kind of levels itself out. It was really fun. So yes, she had made a promise to a friend of hers that she would help his grandmother, and the and he kind of plays it that this that her grandmother is going to be this like almost feeble woman that has to have help, or and 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 the character Vivi is anything but that. So I'm definitely going to give number, book number two a try soon. The last cozy mystery that we have today is part of the Melanie Travis series, Killer Cupid. It's book number 29. This is by Lorian Berenson. All right, everyone, there's some good cozies coming out. Part two with our Kindle and self-published cozies is coming out later this week. Give me a big thumbs up for this one. And until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody. <laughs>